I'm going to go into another uh, record setting here. Um, right click on the record button, create tracks in cycle record. This is another good uh, method for doing drums. So let's take a look at that, create tracks in cycle record. So what's going to happen in cycle record, talking about this as the cycle, is every time the uh, playhead goes around and I record an element, I'm going to get a, a separate track here. There's some uh, some pluses and uh, minuses to this. Uh, let me show you what I mean. Okay, I'll just delete that. And uh, what you get here then are three uh, separate tracks. You may think to yourself, well, uh, that's way easier than doing the multi-output uh, ultra beat. What you're not getting here is um, it, it are in fact separate tracks. These are just aliasing um, the upper level track here. If you look inside the mixer, there's not three tracks. There's still just this one uh, ultra beat track. Um, more to that point, uh, I can't go in here and say, hey, this is the uh, uh, kick part, and uh, I want to change the, uh, the volume on that, and I'm going to leave the snare. Well, you can already see uh, that fader move just affected the snare, and it affected the uh, hi-hat part, too. So that's the, uh, the downside to that. Um, what you can do with this kind of technique, though, is when, you, when you're happy with what you have, uh, you can just merge all these tracks together. So when you're happy with what you have in this kind of scenario, since this is our upper level, this is our master uh, uh, channel strip, is just drag each of these up um, like this. And at that point now, I would uh, select all of these, uh, right click and say merge right here. And that merges all those uh, tracks together. Open it up in the piano roll and there's my, my entire groove. So that's the other way uh, to do drum tracks. I'll just delete these two and um, I've got the same kind of thing now. So back in the recording settings, let's take another look at um, another type of uh, recording option. Uh, creating take folders. Uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, creating take folders. These take folders are not uh, the same kind of take folders that you get with audio. And I'll show you uh, the difference here. First of all, I'm gonna just double click below. That's gonna make another uh, software instrument track for me. A little shortcut there. Once again, I'm gonna load a, a channel strip from here. Remember, we have the opportunity to uh, load instruments with channel strips uh, from this button here. Or if you just want a straight up instrument and you put the uh, uh, channel strip settings on, reverbs, compression, uh, what have you, uh, you load those instruments uh, from here. Let's try to get a little bass part going. So with take folders, you're going to get uh, exactly that. You're going to get a uh, series of takes that you can go through and uh, decide on your best take. So this is a great um, way to just try ideas out, uh, try out riffs, and then audition them afterwards and uh, choose uh, your favorite. So what will happen with the take folders is uh, every time the playhead goes through, it'll record a take, but uh, when it starts over again, it'll mute that. Uh, take and allow me to uh, do another take and uh, continue that process. I can uh, do as many takes as I like. It'll always mute the one beforehand, so I'm not hearing that. Um, so let's try this out. So that's one idea. I'll try another one. All right, that's enough for now. So uh, this looks very similar to the audio take folders where we have the uh, disclosure button here, and this shows me all of my uh, bass takes. And we have the uh, same kind of thing here where you can uh, audition uh, your takes 
you can rename. What you can't do is comp. Uh, so you're not seeing that button. This is the last take I did and everything before it is just muted. And to hear the various takes, you just click on them and they become highlighted and, and that's what's gonna play. So you can't comp between these, you can't swipe comp. But what you can do is uh, just close this and this will leave the last uh, take that you have uh, at the top level. Uh, nothing stopping you from option dragging this and using you know, a different idea for maybe the second pass. So I could copy this drum loop over and you know, it's just uh, arranging ideas. <laughs> This is uh, the quantizing. When you double click on this MIDI region, it's not going to open up in the piano roll like you're uh, used to seeing uh, until you uh, flatten the uh, track like this. And now I can go inside and uh, quantize this. Command A, select everything. It's more of an eighth note pattern I was playing. Something like that. Let's try another recording setting here. Create tracks and mute in Cycle Record is, is pretty similar to what I just did here. Let me show you the uh, difference here. Create tracks and mute in Cycle Record does exactly what uh, it says. All right, so it's uh, made new tracks, and now to audition these, you use the M key on your keyboard. So to hear the last track I did, I'm just going to use M. Once you've uh, decided uh, the uh, take that you want, uh, simply just delete the others and that becomes your uh, upper level uh, take. Okay, so we looked at a variety of these uh, recording settings. We didn't look at the merge with selected regions. It's really the same as merge only in Cycle Record. You simply just need to, uh, to highlight the region that you want to merge into. If you don't highlight it, uh, the material's not merged until you uh, merge it yourself. Uh, nothing fancy there. What I really love are the uh, create tracks, create tracks and mute, and create take folders. Really handy ways uh, to speed up your workflow. All right, there it is.